Hello, this is Heather Joshi, and this is the crumpled paper drawing demo. Here's an example of our final drawing, so you know where we're headed, and it's done in pencil. Here's the setup, an 11 by 14 sheet of paper next to two sheets of computer paper, one crumpled up, one is a background. Here's our material, so I want a variety of pencils. I have a mechanical pencil, it's the hardest pencil, meaning it makes a light mark. Um, I have a 2B, and then I have a um, 3B as well, so 3B is slightly softer than 2B. Higher the number means the softer the pencil for Bs. Higher the number for H pencils means it's harder, it makes a lighter mark. Um, also have a, a Pentel click eraser, so it's just kind of like the end of your like pencil. It's a little eraser, it's good for details and um, just a normal old gum eraser as well as a pencil sharpener. At other points of the video I also use a kneaded eraser so um, yeah you can grab one of those as well. So um, here's the initial gesture. I was looking at the sheet of paper, drew very lightly with mechanical pencil and then I started developing all the creases and cross contours one section at a time. So I focused on this area of the sheet of paper. It's concave the outside sort of looks like a heart to me. Then I moved on to the top. You can see there's that kind of like hoodie sort of shape at the very kind of a tip of that sheet of paper. There's that area where I focused on. And um, there is the far bottom right side of the paper. It kind of has a little bit of an S curve and that um, more sort of that concave darker space. And then I added the drop shadow. Um, notice how I had a horizontal mark. This little video is showing you how I made that mark. So I'm just going from left to right. I'm not scribbling and I'm not kind of mirroring that outline that I've set for myself for the drop shadow. Here's an example of um, that complete drop shadow but I put a vertical line over that horizontal mark. So here's me just filling in that area, covering the, the surface. And I guess I mean, you notice that you see that little faint kind of outline, so I'm erasing that with the Pentel Click Eraser. So just making it look like just a pure shape, no outline. Notice here the paper is a little darker. So rather than relying on like a drawn outline, I'm just creating that value difference. So there's a dark drop shadow and a lighter sheet of paper. You may also notice that I filled in the sheet of paper itself, so I was looking for the darkest spots first. I wasn't looking for the middle tones, but the very darkest areas of the sheet of paper. So they kind of have a lot of visual weight, they draw my eye in, so it's it's best to kind of get those really um, fundamental parts of your composition, the area that could be a focal point first rather than um, last. And I guess you can see in the bottom right area of the drop shadow, there's a little bit of a seam. So I wanted to take care of that. So rather than making those hatch marks, I also added scumbling. So you can see here, scumbling is just making lots of little circles that layer on top of one another. And I guess having that different mode of mark making kind of helps the paper stand out from the background as well. So here's uh, my drawing in another stage. I added scumbling to the background. And um, so I guess it was just kind of to unify the drop shadow with the environment. And also I noticed that the background was a little kind of had a grayish look compared to the sheet of paper. Here's a photograph. Um, there's me adding scumbling to the background. So just big circly marks. So that the scumbling by itself was a bit strong, so I erased it. So here I pulled out a kneaded eraser. So it looks like a, just like gray clay, but it's a really gentle way to pick up any sort of pigment. Um, here I am cleaning the eraser. Um, so if you're like kneaded eraser, if you're using it, it starts looking black, just pull it apart, mush it together, and just kind of knead that pigment back into the eraser so it's fresh and it works again. So I erased that scumbling on the outside and I also found some highlights within the paper and the drop shadow. Um, and the other neat thing about a uh, kneaded eraser is that you can mold it because it is like clay and you can get into these little areas like I'm doing here. Um, there's a drawing with some more kind of elaborated on the drop shadow. 
There's the drawing compared to what I was observing. And here is the complete work. Um, I added contrast, cropped out the background. Make sure you do that to your final works too. But um, yeah, I hope this um, helps you out. And um, I look forward to seeing your artwork. Bye-bye.